The Quran, a complete revelation, translated and read by Sam Gerrans, Quranite.com. Part 2 The foolish among men will say, What has turned them from their course which they were on? Say thou, To God belong the east and the west. He guides whom he wills to a straight path. And thus we made you an intermediary community, that you might be witnesses to mankind, and that the messenger might be a witness to you. And we only made the course which you were on, that we might know him who follows the messenger from him who turns on his heels. And it is a hard matter, save for those whom God guides. And God would not let your faith be in vain. God is towards men kind, merciful. We do see the turning of thy face about the sky, and we will turn thee towards a course which will satisfy thee. Direct thou thy face towards the inviolable place of worship, and wheresoever you be, direct your faces towards it. And those in possession of the law know that it is the truth from their Lord, and God is not unmindful of what they do. And if thou bring those in possession of the law every proof, they will not follow thy course, and thou will not follow their course, and they will not follow each other's course. And if thou follow their vain desires after what has come to thee of knowledge, thou wilt then be of the wrongdoers. Those whom we gave the law recognize it, just as they recognize their sons, but some among them conceal the truth and they know. The truth is from thy Lord, so be thou not of those who doubt. And for each is a direction towards which he turns, then vie with one another in good deeds. Wheresoever you be, God will bring you all together. God is powerful over all things. And in what manner thou goest out, direct thou thy face towards the inviolable place of worship, and it is the truth from thy Lord, and God is not unmindful of what you do. And in what manner thou goest out, direct thou thy face towards the inviolable place of worship, and wheresoever you be, direct your faces towards it, that men might have no argument against you, save those who do wrong among them. So fear them not, but fear me, and that I might complete my favour upon you, and that you might be rightly guided. Like as I have sent to you a messenger from among you, reading to you our proofs, and increasing you in purity, and teaching you the law and wisdom, and teaching you what you knew not, so remember me, I will remember you, and be grateful to me and deny me not. O oh, you who heed warning, seek help in patience and duty. God is with the patient. And say not of those killed for the cause of God, they are dead. The truth is, they are living, but you perceive not. And we will try you with something of fear and hunger and loss of wealth and lives and fruits. And bear thou glad tidings to the patient, those who, when misfortune befalls them, say, We belong to God, and to him are we returning. Upon these are duties and mercy from their Lord, and these are the rightly guided. Al-Safar and Al-Marwa are among the tokens of God, so whoso made pilgrimage to the house or visited, he did no wrong to move about between them. And whoso does good, voluntarily, God is grateful, knowing. Those who conceal what we sent down of clear evidence and guidance after we make it plain to men in the law, these are cursed by God, and cursed by those who curse, save those who repent and do right and make plain. These are those towards whom I turn, and I am the receptive, the merciful. Those who are indifferent to warning and die as atheists, upon those is the curse of God and of angels and of men altogether, they abiding eternally therein, 
The punishment will not be lightened for them, nor will they be granted respite. And your God is one God, and there is no God save he, the Almighty, the Merciful. In the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of night and day, and the ships which plough through the sea with what benefits men, and what God sent down of water from the sky, then gave life thereby to the earth after its death, and spread therein every sort of creature, and in the circulation of the winds and the clouds made serviceable between the sky and the earth, are proofs for people who reason. And among men, is he who takes as equals other than God, loving them with a love like the love for God. And those who heed warning are firmer in love for God, and had those who do wrong seen when they will see the punishment, that power belongs to God altogether, and that God is the severe in punishment, when those who were followed will disown those who followed and they will see the punishment, and the connections between them will be cut off, and those who follow them will say, were we to return, we would disown them just as they have disowned us. Ellipsis, they would change course now, to continue. Thus will God show them their deeds as regrets for them, and they will not come out of the fire. O mankind, eat of what is in the earth lawful and good, and follow not the footsteps of the shaitan. He is an open enemy to you. He but enjoins upon you evil and sexual immorality, and that you ascribe to God what you know not. And when it is said to them, follow what God has sent down, they say, nay, we follow that wherein we found our fathers, even though their fathers did not reason and were not rightly guided. And the example of those who are indifferent to warning is like the example of one who yells to what hears not, save a call and a shout, deaf, dumb, blind, they do not reason. O you who heed warning, eat of the good things that we have provided you, and be grateful to God, if it be him you serve. He has but made unlawful to you carrion and blood, and the flesh of swine, and that dedicated to other than God. But whoso is forced, neither desiring nor transgressing, no falsehood is against him. God is forgiving, merciful. Those who conceal what God has sent down of the law and sell it for a cheap price, these eat into their bellies only fire, and God will not speak to them on the day of resurrection, nor will he increase them in purity, and they have a painful punishment. These are they who purchase error at the price of guidance and punishment at that of forgiveness. How they do strive for the fire. Because God sent down the law aright, and those who differ concerning the law are in extreme schism. It is not virtue that you turn your faces towards the east and the west, but virtue is whoso believes in God, and the last day, and the angels, and the law, and the prophets, and gives wealth in spite of love of it to relatives, and the fatherless, and the needy, and the wayfarer, and those who ask, and to manumit slaves, and upholds the duty, and gives the purity and those who keep their pledge when they pledge, and the patient in affliction and adversity and in battle. These are they who are sincere, and these are those of prudent fear. O oh, you who heed warning, just requital is ordained for you concerning one killed, the freeman for the freeman, and the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. But whoso is pardoned anything by his brother, let the pursuance be according to what is fitting, and the payment to him with good conduct. That is an alleviation and mercy from your Lord, and whoso transgresses after that, he has a painful punishment. And there is life for you in just requital, O you possessed of insight, that you might be in prudent fear. 
ordained for you when death is present with one of you, if he leave property, the bequest to parents and close relatives, according to what is fitting, is binding upon those of prudent fear. And whoso changes it after he hears it, the falsehood thereof is but upon those who change it. God is hearing, knowing. But whoso fears from a testator, partiality or falsehood, and makes right between them, no falsehood is upon him. God is forgiving, merciful. O you who heed warning, fasting is ordained for you as it was ordained for those before you, that you might be in prudent fear, days numbered. And whoso is sick among you or on a journey, a number of other days. And for those all of whose strength is taken by it is a redemption, feeding the needy. Whoso does good voluntarily, it is better for him. And that you fast is better for you, if you would know. A moon of Ramadan was that in which the Qur'an was sent down as guidance for mankind and as clear evidence of the guidance and the division ellipsis which has now reached you to continue. So whoso among you witnesses the moon, let him fast in it. And whoso of you is sick or on a journey, a number of other days. God desires for you ease and desires not for you hardship, but that you complete the number and that you magnify God for guiding you, ellipsis, he requires you to fast, to continue, and that you might be grateful. And when my servants question thee concerning me, I am near, I answer the call of the caller when he calls to me, so let them respond to me and let them believe in me, that they might be guided. It is lawful for you to go in unto your women on the night of the fast. They are a covering for you, and you are a covering for them. God knew that you deceived yourselves, and he turned in mercy towards you and pardoned you. Henceforth lie with them and seek what God has ordained for you, and eat and drink until clear to you be the white thread from the black thread of the dawn, then complete the fast until night, and lie with them not when you remain in the places of worship. Those are the limits of God. Approach them not. Thus does God make plain his proofs to men that they might be in prudent fear. And consume not your wealth among yourselves in vanity, nor offer it to the authorities that you might consume some of the property of the people through falsehood. And you know... They ask thee about the new moons. Say thou, they are measurements of time for the people and the pilgrimage. And it is not virtue that you approach houses by the backs thereof, but virtue is, ellipsis, C2177, to continue, whoso is in prudent fear. But approach houses by the gates thereof, and be in prudent fear of God that you might be successful and fight for the cause of God those who fight you, but transgress not. God loves not the transgressors. And kill them wherever you gain the ascendancy over them, and expel them in what manner they expelled you, and means of denial is worse than killing. And fight them not in the inviolable place of worship until they fight you therein, but if they fight you, kill them. Thus is the reward of those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. But if they desist, God is forgiving, merciful. And fight them until there be no more means of denial, and the doctrine belongs to God. And if they desist, no hostility save against the wrongdoers. The inviolable moon is for the inviolable moon, and the inviolable deeds are just requital. Whoso transgresses against you, transgress against him, just as he transgressed against you. But be in prudent fear of God, and know that God is with those of prudent fear. And spend for the cause of God, and cast not your hands towards ruin. And do good. God loves the doers of good. And complete the pilgrimage and the attendance for God. But if you be prevented, then what is easy of the requirement? 
and shave not your heads until what should take place occurs. And whoso among you is sick or has a hindrance of the head, the redemption is a fast or charity or penance. And when you are secure, then whoso prefers the attendance to the pilgrimage, then what is easy of the requirement? And whoso has not the means, a fast of three days during the pilgrimage, and seven when you have returned, that is ten in all. That is for him whose people are not present at the inviolable place of worship. And be in prudent fear of God, and know that God is severe in retribution. The pilgrimage is on moons appointed, and whoso undertakes the pilgrimage therein, let there be no sexual approach, and no wanton perfidy or quarrelling during the pilgrimage. And whatever good you do, God knows it. And take provision, and the best provision is prudent fear. And be in prudent fear of me, O you possessed of insight. You do no wrong to seek favour from your Lord, and when you expound on subjects known, then remember God with the inviolable sense, and remember him how he guided you, and if you were before it among those astray, ellipsis, then remember him especially to continue. Then expound in what manner men have expounded, and seek the forgiveness of God. God is forgiving, merciful. And when you have concluded your rites, then remember God like your remembrance of your fathers, or with stronger remembrance. And among men is he who says, Our Lord, give thou to us in this world and he has no portion in the hereafter. And among them is he who says, Our Lord, give thou to us in this world good, and in the hereafter good, and protect thou us from the punishment of the fire. They have a portion from what they earn, and God is swift in reckoning. And remember God during days numbered. And whoso makes haste in two days, no falsehood is against him. And whoso tarries, no falsehood is against him, for him who is in prudent fear. And be in prudent fear of God, and know that to him will you be gathered. And among men is he whose speech concerning the life of this world impresses thee, and he calls God to witness over what is in his heart, and he is the most quarrelsome of debaters. And when he turns away, he hastens through the land to create corruption therein, and destroys tilth and progeny, and God loves not corruption. And when it is said to him, Be thou in prudent fear of God, pride takes him with falsehood, and hell is his reckoning, and an evil resting place. And among men is he who sells his soul seeking the pleasure of God, and God is kind to the servants. O you who heed warning, Enter into surrender completely, and follow not the footsteps of the shaitan. He is an open enemy to you. And if you slip, after clear evidence has come to you, then know that God is mighty, wise. Await they save that God and the angels should come to them in the shadows of the clouds, and the matter be settled. And unto God are matters referred. Ask thou the children of Israel how many a clear proof we gave them. And whoso changes the grace of God after it has come to him, God is severe in retribution. Made fair is the life of this world for those who are indifferent to warning, and they deride those who heed warning. But those who are in prudent fear will be above them on the day of resurrection and God gives to whom he wills without reckoning. Mankind was one community, then God raised up prophets as bearers of glad tidings and warners, and sent down with them the law aright, that it might judge between men concerning that wherein they differed. And there differed therein only those who were given it, after clear evidence had come to them through sectarian zealotry between them. But God guided those who heeded warning to that of the truth wherein they differed by his leave. And God guides whom he wills to a straight path. If you think that you will enter the garden, when there has not come to you the like of those who came and went before you, 
affliction and adversity touched them and they were shaken until the messenger and those who heeded warning with him said when is the help of god in truth the help of god is near they ask thee what they should spend say thou whatever you spend of good for parents and close relatives and the fatherless and the needy and the wayfarer ellipsis that is what you should spend to continue and whatever you do of good god knows it fighting is ordained for you though it be loathsome to you and it may be that you are averse to a thing and it is good for you and it may be that you love a thing and it is bad for you and god knows and you know not they ask thee about the inviolable moon whether there be fighting during it say thou fighting during it is grave but forsaking the path of god and disbelief in it and the inviolable place of worship and the expulsion of its people therefrom is graver with god and means of denial is worse than killing and they will not cease fighting you until they turn you from your doctrine if they are able and whoso among you turns from his doctrine and dies as one who spurns guidance while claiming virtue these their works are vain in this world and in the hereafter and these are the companions of the fire wherein they abide eternally those who heed warning and those who emigrate and strive for the cause of god these hope for the mercy of god and god is forgiving merciful they ask thee about the intoxicant and games of chance say thou in both are great falsehood and benefits for men but their falsehood is greater than their benefits and they ask thee what they should spend say thou the surplus thus does god make plain to you the proofs that you might reflect concerning this world and the hereafter and they ask thee about the fatherless say thou improvement for them is best and if you associate with them then are they your brothers and god knows the worker of corruption from the doer of right and had god willed he would have caused distress for you god is mighty wise and marry not the idolatresses until they believe and a believing slave girl is better than an idolatress though she impress you and give not in marriage to the idolaters until they believe and a believing slave is better than an idolater though he impress you these invite to the fire and god invites to the garden and forgiveness by his leave and he makes plain his proofs to men that they might take heed and they ask thee about menstruation say thou it is a hindrance keep away from women during menstruation and approach them not until they be clean and when they have purified themselves approach them in what manner god has commanded you god loves those who repent and he loves those who purify themselves your women are your tilth so approach your tilth as you will and send ahead of you for your souls and be in prudent fear of god and know that you will meet him and bear thou glad tidings to the believers and make not god a cover for your oaths to keep you from virtue and be in prudent fear and make right between men and god is hearing knowing god takes you not to task for vain speech in your oaths but he takes you to task for what your hearts earn and god is forgiving forbearing for those who forswear their wives is a weight of four moons but if they return god is forgiving merciful and if they decide upon divorce god is hearing knowing and divorced women shall wait by themselves three menstrual courses and it is not lawful for them to conceal what god has created in their wombs if they believe in god and the last day and their husbands have more right to take them back during that if they desire right ordering and due to women is the like of what is due from them according to what is fitting but men have a degree over women 
and God is mighty, wise. Divorce is twice, then retaining according to what is fitting or releasing with good conduct. And it is not lawful for you to take anything from what you have given women, save if they fear that they might not uphold the limits of God. Then if you fear that they will not uphold the limits of God, they do no wrong in that she free herself thereby. Those are the limits of God. Transgress them not. And whoso transgresses the limits of God, these are the wrongdoers. And if he divorce her, she is not lawful to him thereafter until she marry a spouse other than him. Then if he divorce her, they do no wrong to return to each other, if they consider that they will uphold the limits of God. And those are the limits of God. He makes them plain for people who know. And when you divorce women and their turn be reached, retain them according to what is fitting, or release them according to what is fitting, and retain them not through harm that you might transgress. And whoso does that has wronged his soul. And make not mockery of the proofs of God, and remember the grace of God towards you, and what he has sent down to you of the law, and the wisdom whereby he exhorts you. And be in prudent fear of God, and know that God knows all things. And when you divorce women, and their turn be reached, hinder not their marrying their spouses, when they come to terms according to what is fitting. That whereto is exhorted he who among you believes in God in the last day, that is purer and cleaner for you, and God knows, and you know not. And mothers shall suckle their children two whole years, for such as wish to complete the suckling, and upon the father is their provision and their clothing according to what is fitting. No soul is burdened save to its capacity. A mother shall not be hurt by her child, nor he to whom the child is born by his child. And upon the heir is the like of that. And if they desire weaning by mutual consent and consultation between them, then they do no wrong. And if you desire to seek one to suckle your children, then you do no wrong, when you ensure the safety of what you have brought according to what is fitting. And be in prudent fear of God, and know that God sees what you do. And those of you who die and leave behind them wives, they shall wait by themselves four moons and ten. And when their turn be reached, then you do no wrong in what they do concerning themselves according to what is fitting. And God is aware of what you do. And you do no wrong in what you intimate to women of engagement or hide within yourselves. God knows that you will remember them. But make not nor take an oath with them secretly, save that you speak a fitting word. And decide not upon the marriage contract until the law reaches its term. And know that God knows what is within your souls, so fear him. And know that God is forgiving, forbearing. You do no wrong if you divorce women when you have neither touched them nor appointed for them an obligation. But make them a gift, the wealthy according to his means and the straitened according to his means, a gift according to what is fitting, is binding upon the doers of good. And if you divorce them before you have touched them, but have appointed for them an obligation, then half of what you appointed, save that they forego it, or he forego it in whose hand is the marriage contract. And to forego is nearer to prudent fear. And forget not kindness among you. God sees what you do. Keep to the duties, and to the duty between extremes, and stand up for God, devoutly dutiful. And should you fear, then walking or riding, and when you are secure, then remember God, as he taught you what you knew not. And those among you who die and leave behind them wives, the bequest to their wives is provision for a year without expulsion, then if they leave, you do no wrong in what they do concerning themselves according to what is fitting, 
and God is mighty, wise. And for divorced women, provision, according to what is fitting, is binding upon those of prudent fear. Thus does God make plain to you his proofs, that you might use reason, Hast thou not considered those who left their habitations in their thousands for fear of death, and to whom God said, Die? Then gave he them life. God is bountiful towards men, but most men are not grateful. And fight for the cause of God, and know that God is hearing, knowing. Who is it who will lend to God a goodly loan, that he might multiply it by many multiples to him? and God constricts and expands, and to him will you be returned. Hast thou not considered the eminent ones of the children of Israel after Musa, when they said to a prophet unto them, Raise thou up for us a king, we will fight for the cause of God. He said, Would you, if fighting be ordained for you, not fight? They said, And should we not fight for the cause of God when we and our children have been expelled from our homes? But when fighting was ordained for them, they turned away, save a few of them. And God knows the wrongdoers. And their prophet said to them, God has raised up for you Talud as king. They said, How can for him be dominion over us when we have more right to dominion than he, when he has not been given abundance of wealth? He said, God has chosen him over you and increased him in extent of knowledge and stature. And God bestows his dominion upon whom he wills. And God encompasses, knows. And their prophet said to them, A proof of his dominion is that there will come to you a heart wherein is tranquility from your Lord and a remnant of what the house of Musa and the house of Harun left, borne by angels. In that is a proof for you if you be believers. Then when Talud set out with his forces, he said, God will try you with a river. Whoso drinks thereof is not of me. And whoso tastes it is not of me, save he who scoops up a handful with his hand. And they drank thereof, save a few of them. When he had crossed it, he and those who heeded warning with him, they said, We have no power this day against Jalut and his forces. Said those who knew that they should meet God, How many a small host has overcome a mighty host by God's leave? And God is with the patient. But when they emerged against Jalut and his forces, they said, Our Lord, pour thou out patience upon us, and make thou firm our feet, and help thou us against the people who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And they defeated them by God's leave, and Dawood killed Jalut, and God gave him dominion and wisdom, and taught him of what he willed. And were God not to repel some people by means of others, the earth should become corrupt. But God is bountiful towards all mankind. Those are the proofs of God. We recite them to thee aright. And thou art among the emissaries.